Hey, what's up, guys? This is Rich. So today, I'm going to show you how to make the best vocal preset. I call it the Pro Vogue P preset because it makes my vocals sound as professional as possible. And this is with using the ear pods that come with the iPhone. So this is not professional equipment that I'm using. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so first thing you want to do is go to the audio recorder. If you don't know how to get there, when you first get into GarageBand, it'll take you right here to the keyboard. And you just want to scroll right to the audio recorder. Then you want to go on the fun section in there. And then press on the clean preset. Now, you'll have to change this up because, as you guys may know already, these presets are just trash. It's the truth. Unless you have professional audio equipment with really good noise canceling mics, it's not going to sound good. So, in order to make it sound good, just follow these steps. Alright, so I already have I already have my um, preset in there, but that's the template, the clean template. Okay, so what you want to do to make this preset, the Provoke preset, is just go on the clean template and then just put in a noise gate, negative 24 dB. This will take out the background noise and the static in the background. And it won't take a lot of the beginning of your vocals. So that's what you want. And then put in a compressor. Um, change your settings to this. Now put the gain, specifically the gain, you should have this, this is the main focus on the compressor. Put the gain at... 5.5, excuse me guys, uh, at 5.5 dB. And put an effect EQ on, leave it on, it'll be on the clean a template already. Just leave that on. And what you want to do is get the Zero Reverb app. It's a plugin for GarageBand. And I'll show you how to get that real quick. You just go on the App Store, like any other app. Uh, Zero Reverb is what it's called. And you just get this app. It's free, so you don't have to worry about that. Alright, so back to this. Now that you got the Zero Reverb, tap on it, and you want to change the settings. The mid time, 1.8, low time, 1. You can change the low time depending on your voice, and I'll explain that why later. Um, so yeah, you change the settings to this crossover, 152 damping, 7.1 delay, 50 to give more like spacious reverb, and then the mix, 21. And then you get a Dynamics Processor. Now, to get this, all you gotta do is go to Audio Unit Extensions, and scroll all, it's usually one lower, okay, right here, Audio, Audio Dynamics Processor. So it's right there. But I have mine on there already, so I don't need it. So there, you want to select the fast and smooth uh, sound preset. And then change it to these settings. Compression threshold minus 35 dB. Headroom 40 dB to give your vocals headroom. I can't stress this enough. If your vocals aren't mixed well and sitting on the mix... Um, then it's just going to sound terrible. It's going to sound muddy. It's going to sound harsh. And you're probably not going to be able to hear your vocals. So yeah, you want to have these settings down. Uh, and then you go to Visual EQ. Now, okay. So here, you want to mix your vocals. If you want, in another video in the future, I can try and teach you how to mix your vocals. Now, I, for my voice, I have to take out a lot of bass frequencies because, as you guys may know, uh, you can hear it. My voice is low. It's a low pitch, and so I have to take out bass so it doesn't sound too muddy, especially if you're doing rap vocals and you have an 808. you got to take out the bass so that you can hear that 808 and the kick knock. So yeah, this is what 
my vocals EQing looks like. And uh, there we go. So, yeah. After this, uh, oh yeah, I forgot one important thing. When you're going to record, okay, when you're going to record your vocals, done with the Pro Vocal preset, you should have that now. When you're done with the vocal, uh, when you're going to record the vocals, you want to have the squeeze on, not too much, but just a little bit. Now, okay guys, I'm going to warn you, my vocals are about to be loud, so turn your volume down. Okay, when, when you're recording, you want to keep the out low, because if you are recording your vocals correctly, you'll be singing out loud, and it'll, it'll be loud enough for you to hear with the uh, beat. But you don't want to have it all the way up because when you sing, it's going. Mine doesn't necessarily uh, peak because I'm not singing that loud. But if you are singing loud, it'll peak and then this green um, vocals will hit the red. And you don't want that because it'll be harsh and it'll be super loud and it'll hurt your ears. So you don't want that. So keep it low to prevent that from happening. And then back to the compressor. That's why you want it to be on uh, 5.5 dB plus 5.5 dB so you can make your vocals louder and hear them in the mix. So yeah, that's what I'm just going to tell you. Um, and then that's about it. So now you should have your Provoke preset and you should be good to go. Now I'm going to show you a uh, song I made for this demonstration as a demonstration for this video and the Provoke preset. So the melody is courtesy of Tyler Apple. I will leave a link to his Instagram. Go follow him guys. He's a great guy. He's really good at guitar, so yeah, go follow him. And he let me use his riff, uh, his guitar riff for this video. Good friend of mine. All right, here it is. And I could do a rap tutorial with this vocal reset in the future, but I'll just do uh, this one song tutorial for now to not have too much embarrassment in one video, guys. So yeah, here it is. I, and keep in mind, I'm using ear pods. That's not professional equipment, so you're going to hear some static, but just know that. And I'm not a good singer either. Just hearing my voice is trash. <laughs> Crossing the line Just want you in my life And you know what I'm thinking And you know what's about you And you know I'm sinking Cause I can't live without you And you are my lifeline I'm so thankful I found you You're a blessing from God, girl So you know I ain't about to Let you go, let you go, let you go Oh no, 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 no let you go, let you go, let you go Oh no, 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 no Alright, so that was the snippet of the song for this demonstration and uh once again thank you tyler link to your instagram in the in the description so guys go hit him up he's dope good friend love you brother and uh one more thing is that your vocals could potentially sound a lot better than this if you have a noise canceling microphone or um 
maybe a gaming headset with a noise canceling mic, your vocals could sound better. Now, I'm using the earpods, they don't have zero noise canceling. So, yeah, uh, if you get yourself like a Boom Pro mic, or I don't know, there's plenty on Amazon, they're like 30 bucks. So, yeah, maybe if you pick up one of those, it could sound a lot better. But this is just what I use. So, thank you guys for watching the video. And if you want more tutorials like these on beats, for, uh, I mostly do trap beats. This was an exception for today to focus mainly on the vocals. But yeah, if you want more of this content, please like and subscribe. And remember to share this video with your friends. And uh, yeah, thank you.